Hey guys, Chris with Poolometry here. Today is my first video in a series of what will be about 60 videos on how to shoot bank shots. Now, my theory is called poolometry. And poolometry meaning how do you measure shooting pool shots? Um, now, there's a lot of great stuff there uh, out there on the internet about um, you know cut angles and, and throw and English and all this stuff. But I just think the world of bank pool is lacking really good systems and really effective systems that you can memorize and apply on the, on the fly. Uh, I've looked at all the books, I've looked at all the videos, I've tried it, and about 10 years ago, I just said, you know what, I'm gonna develop my own system. So I did, and I call my system Aim With Speed, because it focuses on the speed you hit the ball as being a critical factor in making any shot. Um, now, where did this all, I, I didn't really start to think about publishing in any way, uh, but then I was out at league night one night, and I hit a shot, and the other team just like, gasped like it was some sort of magic and to like they couldn't even see the possibility of this shot and they're great players i respect them but the idea that these guys some of them play three four nights a week didn't see this shot as a possibility was just absurd to me and it's it's like we got to get some more information out there um so i want to show you the shot and then we'll talk about a little more about the aim with speed system so this, the setup was something like this i was on the eight ball and it was one of those times you go how can there be a duck in every pocket for my opponent right so this ball doesn't cut this ball doesn't uh, bank back it doesn't bank back here it does didn't cut in the side I had virtually no way to uh, to cut at it although here I might leave a little opening it wasn't there I couldn't it, it just didn't go anywhere well it did go somewhere that I saw it goes three rails here and it looked something like this I don't know if I'll make it it is a pretty tough shot There it is, that's what I did. Yep. <laughs> now, just so you know that's not a fluke, I'm gonna show you a video of me doing the same exact setup to show my brother. Now, this video was shot the night that I, I, I made the shot and I just wanted to show him what I did. So it was something like this, I was pretty straight on. There's maybe an inch here, but I couldn't, I couldn't cut it in, I couldn't bake it in the side, I couldn't kick at it, um, I couldn't I couldn't try to bake it down here, that was blocked, I couldn't bake it here and come down this way, I, I, I couldn't get it anyway, this is literally the only pocket I could think of, and it looks something like this, we'll see how many tries it takes. One try, just like that. So from that moment on, I set out to document my pool bank system. Now, in general, my channel is called Poolometry because it's the, the merger of the word pool and ometry. Ometry being the idea of measuring something. Um, the question is, how do we measure all the various shots on a pool table? I believe that they can be measured, that it's not guesswork, that it's not estimation, that you can repeat and repeat and repeat certain shots uh, if you just learn the patterns. Aim with speed is specifically my bank shot system. Uh, I've developed 27 different shots at this point uh, of different one rail, two rail, three rail, four rail, five rail, six rail, and seven rail shots. And I've written them all down. I've cataloged them by number. I, I've made a shot chart for every single one that shows all the different spots on the table you can shoot it, how to aim it, and how to adjust for speed. Uh, so hopefully you stick around and check out some of my stuff. I'm sure whether you're new to banking or you are a vet, you will get something out of my channel. Um, thanks for watching, guys.